played a video before on this exact same topic uh that they were like in some rico case and i'm like why the fuck is tyga and floyd money made with her in a rico kit how what are these boys doing like bro i ain't gonna lie so now, hey, some more stuff has come out about it. So Tiger and Floyd Mayweather accused of violating RICO Act in massive lawsuit. Yo, first of all, Tiger, you ain't having a good year. There's a shorty that was trying to say you SA'd her. Then this RICO thing happened. And now apparently you violated some shit. Now, Floyd Mayweather, how, do, how is you in a RICO case? Out of every person, Floyd Mayweather... You was over here when NBA Youngboy was dating your daughter, condemning him like, hey, he don't have no proper guidance in his life. His parents is trash, all that. Calling him every name in the book. He not go for your daughter. Y'all kind of pieced it up or whatever. Whatever you was at, like his court date or whatever have you. Y'all kind of pieced it up, I think. He be teaching. Well, not teaching, but his kid he has with y'all. Y'all be doing his little boxing training and shit. It's kind of adorable. But anyways, and now you in Rico cases, bro. You can't sit here and say you better than him. Sure, YB has gotten more trouble. Hey, you can't say you better than him. By the way, that is not a dude like NBA young boy. I'm going to be uh, going back and forth. I get that your daughter likes him and everything, but pff, listen, I cannot tell you if he caught a body. All I can say is we have seen him in in some predicaments that he he was some, shooting some things. You know what I'm saying? He was spraying. So if that is the case, I, I think I know, I think we all know he knows his way around the weapon. And at this point, you got to ask yourself what can do more damage, hands or a bullet at that point. But anyways, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh yeah, Jula. A jeweler is accusing Tiger of never paying for a rule. So wait, if you never pay, so like the Sean Kingston bullshit that happened, right? And apparently, like, he owes some money in jewelry or whatever have you. So, if you don't really pay, like, for jewelry or shit, niggas could put a Rico case on you? The fuck? Okay, that's fucking crazy. Like, I thought Rico case was, like, a crime organization. Like, you can put it under that shit. Like, how, what's that going on with the YSL? And, like, why it fit to a lesser extent and, like, the fucking RPT Rico and all this other stuff. So, you said some jewelry, some jewelry you could get into a Rico? But anyways... Tiger Floyd and Mayweather Jr. and the money team are facing accusations of RICO violations, fraud, breach of contract, unjust enrichment, and more. In a new lawsuit brought by the jeweler Leonard, oh, I cannot say your last name, big dog. I'm not even going to try. Uh, Saul, we're, we're going to, that's all. According to documents caught by All Hip Hop, um, what's it called? Leonard is accusing them of refusing to pay for luxury watches and other jewelry. Um, Mayweather, the money team, and possibly others have systematically created, participated, and engaged in what can be described as a quasi-criminal money laundering scheme involving high-end, rare, and exclusive luxury watches and jewelry. Uh, Leonard's lawyers claim the defendants acting in a concert and with other financial incentivized third parties will purchase slash acquire luxury watches by soliciting watch brokers like plaintiffs herein and offering them upfront cash with payment terms in exchange for the purchase of watches and jewelry with no intention of paying off the total balances. Um, Leonard further cited a number of meetings in 2021 with Mayweather's associate uh, Jonah. Pff, I don't know how to say your last name. I'm not even going to try. He claims that luxury boxer agreed to make several purchases amounting to a bill of 4.1 million um jonah alleged uh made an initial down payment of ninety thousand, followed by another 177 000 payment before he introduced him to tiger in las vegas the rapper agreed to buy rolex for seventy nine thousand, but allegedly didn't make an initial payment on it as time went on with no further payments being made by either party leonard decided to take legal action Defendants take pro uh, possession of watches and jewelry, demanding formal paperwork, boxes and warrants, request payment terms with upfront cash deposits, only to refuse to pay the full price for said items, and in some instances claim they never purchased the item, but rather it was gifted to them because of their fame and status. Leonard, uh... Leonard's lawyers noted lawsuits around the country have been filed in recent years against the defendants beyond the lookout for further updates. Hey, 
listen, I don't know. Listen, hey, it, it, it sounds like y'all on some Sean Kingston time. That's really what I, I think. Now, see, Floyd Mayweather, the money team, it could all be an act or whatever. But I think the nigga got money. I think the nigga ain't really stressing for money. That's just me. I think he's not really stressing for money. So the fact that this is what's going on, bro, I'm just perplexed and surprised. Listen. If this tells me anything, it tells me not to go live in L.A. Listen, I don't know what the fuck be going on in Los Angeles, but clearly that is not a place I should be. I should just mind my business and stay wherever else I can go. But I just don't know why artists be doing this shit. Especially y'all just seen the Sean Kingston shit. Nigga got locked up, probably got to go to court for some shit. And niggas is still out here scamming. And also, it's kind of y'all fault. Now, look, it's also kind of y'all fault. As well, as we know, going to some of these celebrity uh, jewelers or whatever have you, you're going to pay a little bit more. Because, again, you could get this thing for a little bit less, especially if you go to different countries and buy this shit. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit less. But as well as, motherfuckers be lying to you with uh, on the clarity of the diamonds. They be saying it's VVS and you pay more even though it's SI and all this other shit that's going on. So with that being said, bro, like, again, and probably because of the status of being a celebrity junior, they're going to charge a little bit more because, you know, they kind of let they pop in as well. So, bro, it's one of them situations, my nigga, like, you just got to chill out. Like, I don't know what y'all niggas doing, but get your, get your paper right. Like, I know Tiger ain't broke. I know that nigga ain't broke. Like, regardless of all the jokes about his hairline and shit, and, uh, and people calling him, like, fucking Tiger Simpson, the house cat, which, that's fucking hilarious. Shout out DJ Academics, but no way. And Floyd Mayweather, you cannot sit there and say the money team and do all this shit, and you not paying these niggas back. Now, again, this could be fabricated, this could be lies, but I've heard too much about this, and especially with this Sean Kingston situation that's happening, about him not paying for his jewelry, bro, I'm looking at some of y'all niggas, because if that's the case, you can't really clown the niggas that are making, that are wearing fake jewelry, if you not paying for the real shit, you not paying it off full, you can't clown the niggas wearing the fake jewelry, you can't clown them niggas, now again, it makes more sense to spend money and buy the real thing than buy the fake thing, and this is way more significantly cheaper to buy the fake thing. But like, bro, you can't clown these niggas, honestly. Because you can't even afford slash finish your payment on the real thing. It makes no sense. But hopefully we get more information on this tiger. I don't know what the fuck you doing, nigga. You should not be in this situation. But anyways, what's going on? It's your friendly neighbor, K.A. Sign out for today. The Black TJ Dell while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe, try a little bit more to hear me, and I'm gone. Slimes on peace, shush, guy. Aye.